Roblox.com is currently suing a YouTuber for $1.6 million. Maybe it seems like a meme, maybe it seems like it should be a photoshopped headline, but no, this is real, and today, I'm gonna talk about it. Why did I use that song for the intro? What did it have to do with the video? Well, two things. Firstly, the song was the subject of a lawsuit, which makes it thematically relevant. And secondly, it's a banger. I am the faggot on the- Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Tom Dark channel. I'm your host, Tom Dark. And today, we're going to be talking about Ruben Sim and a little game called Roblox. You guys probably already know I'm a fan of Roblox. Not even gonna try to justify it, I accept the cringe factor associated. I have a lot of good memories with the game, and from time to time I still enjoy hopping in a Phantom Forces lobby. And because Roblox is so popular, and despite the fact that it is a children's game geared towards younger audiences, there are a number of older kids and adults in the community who spend a lot of time on it. Enter Ruben Sim, a Roblox YouTube and developer known for having a slightly darker sense of humor than the target demographic of the game. He's not gonna release his sound jacks now. This is what hell is like. Drink water in two weeks. He's really been filling the duck-shaped hole in my heart that Quackity left for edgier Roblox content. Ruben Sim himself has been a somewhat controversial figure in the community due to his sense of humor and interactions with Roblox staff themselves. He and his projects within the game have been somewhat unfairly targeted by Roblox over the last few years, and he has kind of a history with some of the staff through his YouTube videos. Can't risk letting kids see blood. Bloodfest. Wave survival like no other. Oh, but Phantom Forces is okay. An Apocalypse Rising, that's fine. Oh, Gladiator's okay. Counter blocks, never mind the Wild West. Which is part of the egg hunt. We ended up removing the blood stains, and they still wouldn't reopen our game. We are not able to open your game, remove the blood spring when people are wounded or dead. And through his YouTube videos, he has somewhat of a mischievous troll reputation, okay? And because of his videos, he has somewhat of a negative history with some of the staff. Ruben has also been banned from Roblox several times because of his videos and stuff he's done on the game itself. A lot of my jokes and a lot of my criticism was directed at moderation. So Bob and his team of mods got together and started banning me and they banned every single account that I created just because it was mine. And at first I was really heartbroken, especially after my first account Navy98 was deleted, but after the fourth or fifth deletion I stopped caring. So Ruben Sim has been banned on Roblox for a while now, and despite that, like many banned players, he has also been circumventing the ban in order to make content on the website, and he's been moderately successful at it. His videos do pretty well, and he's carved out a nice little piece of the content creation market for himself over the last few years, despite the derision from Roblox staff. Well, it seems that they've finally become so fed up with him and some of the shenanigans that he and his fans have, you know, taken part in, that they've decided to actually take him to court, believe it or not. Roblox Corporation has filed an official legal complaint in the state of California, citing several violations, including fraud, breach of contract, tortious interference with prospective economic relations, meaning that they are claiming damages, among a few other things. And this has been in the news with tech and gaming outlets like The Verge and Kotaku covering the situation. Rather than just read what they say first, though, I think it would be remiss to ignore the legal documents, so I'm going to go over some of its bullet bullet points in layman's terms. Defendant is the leader of a cyber mob that with malice, fraud, and oppression commits and encourages unlawful acts designed to injure Roblox and its users, including, by way of example, the following unlawful acts. Posting false and misleading terrorist threats, including threats that sparked police activity and temporary shutdown of the Roblox Developers Conference in 2021. Glamorizing the 2018 active YouTube HQ shooter, circumventing bans, breaking the Roblox rules by engaging in sexual chats with users and attempting to upload a picture of himself with a lampshade over his cock. They say that he used racial slurs, homophobic slurs, attempted to upload pictures of Hitler, and they claim that he cyberbullied Roblox staff. Cyberbullying, what a, what a charge. The first page ends saying that they are seeking $1,650,000 in damages from him. If I had to guess, this isn't money that he has
has to pay right now unless he is descended from some royalty or 1800s oil prospector fortune. So this isn't chump change for him or anything. This is a fuck ton of money that he probably cannot pay. Probably for the best, Ruben stated publicly that he won't be commenting on the legal complaint. This is definitely a good move as he wouldn't want to cause any more issues or possibly get into any more issues between Roblox and himself. Keep in mind that anything he does or says publicly at this point could be used against him in civil court. So it is in his best interest to shut the fuck up about it, which he seems to be doing. The case has been a talking point for people, both in the Roblox community and beyond, because of just how important it is. Technically, as far as I'm aware, Ruben did not break any laws. He broke Roblox's terms of service and their rules by circumventing bans and posting content on their services that are not kid-friendly. He is a somewhat edgy dude, but as far as I'm aware, there were no laws broken. And obviously, there are a lot of opinions flying around this right now. Ruben has a pretty active and dedicated fan base, so a lot of his fans have had a lot to say about it. So yeah, Roblox isn't dicking around. This is the first time I've ever seen a company as large as Roblox absolutely shut down somebody and commit CBT in the form of legal, uh, you know, just... Just, just in the legal system, that's all I'm gonna say, alright, shit. The threat tweet wasn't made by him. Someone else had made the threat and he made a tweet mocking it. The original poster came out and made it clear Ruben had no involvement. The rest of the sexual conduct allegations were clearly satire and heavily exaggerated to make him look bad. The lampshade claim was said to be false by Ruben in a tweet made before the one shown in the video, and I don't think he'd deny it if Roblox had proof. Roblox has had bad blood with Ruben because he criticizes their lack of action against child predators on the site, Mr. Obvious being the prime example, and a specific incident where the head of Roblox moderation was caught following a furry porn account. Ruben has an edgy sense of humor, and he may take his criticisms too far, but this whole case is just to make him look bad. If the case goes in Roblox's favor, it's going to signal a shift in the liberty of users in online spaces. Ruben Sim did not break any genuine laws. He broke online terms. This case could totally become a landmark case. How far can repercussions go in the real world for online behavior? Now look, I'm not a legal expert or anything like that. I'm not an expert on much apart from being a dumbass online, as I explained in my <laughs> story time video about the feds coming to my house. But as someone who is a casual fan of Ruben's content on YouTube and a casual longtime fan of Roblox as a business and as a website, this is disappointing to see. A huge company like Roblox, which is one of the most successful companies in the gaming space, taking someone to court over what, you know, to me, seems to be a lot of edgy jokes in his corner is kind of dumb. And if Roblox wins, not only will it be a huge blow to him, but for other people engaged in edgier content relating to games, and especially Roblox, this will be a huge blow. It's setting a precedent. It's kind of a scare tactic. Roblox has shown in the past that they don't like these edgier elements of the community. They don't like that kind of stuff in their games and their voice chats, which is somewhat fine. I kind of get it. At the end of the day, most people on the game are a lot younger. They want to maintain a child-friendly image so that Roblox Corp stock stays strong. At the moment, it is experiencing a bit of a dip, but 2021 was a good year for the stock overall. But there is a dedicated group of people who are older and make videos about Roblox where they exhibit some darker humor. And I wish Roblox would be more accepting of that or just fucking ignore them instead of like antagonizing them actively. I mean, there are almost 800,000 people subscribed to the Ruben Sim YouTube channel. Clearly, this isn't a super niche market. There are a lot of people out there who want to see this kind of stuff. And on top of that, Roblox advertises itself as a game development platform. There are a lot of games on there with more mature themes. The game I used to play a lot and the game I'm using in this video, Phantom Forces, is a military shooter with blood fucking everywhere and actual firearms translated from the real world into the game. Clearly, this isn't just made for nine-year-olds. It's not all Teletubbies and TikTok and nursery rhymes. I can tell from the way the media is covering this, however, they don't exactly have a, a favorable view of Ruben's channel, though, for sure. In the end, this isn't up to any of us to decide. None of our opinions will really matter. Unless it's dismissed soon, it will probably be before a judge. And civil court cases like this can take years, no matter what the outcome is. It's likely that Ruben will have to pay a lot in attorney's fees, which can be quite fucking expensive. Let's hope he has a good one, considering that he is going up against a company that has basically unlimited funds to sue him into the fucking dirt. I want to end this video by genuinely wishing the best of luck to Ruben, and perhaps for now this should serve as a warning to any fellow Roblox provocateurs to lay off for a bit, at least until we can see the outcome of this case. Wouldn't put it above the company to take another person to court for... I don't know, some dumbass meme, which they can definitely do if they want, but let's hope that's not the case, okay? Try to stay out of trouble, boys and girls of the Roblox fandom. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you disliked it, then leave a fat ass dislike. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the story, you're invested now, just as a very quick and important aside, you should subscribe to my main channel, Turkey Tom, where a video will be out about this very topic with some very interesting developments, a very interesting update, and a development that you absolutely will 
not want to miss very soon. Leave a comment down below giving me your thoughts on the whole situation, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.